Hi. So you got into uni. I'm really proud of you. Well done. Clap for you. Okay, I should stop. But yeah, getting into uni is super difficult at this point. I mean, now they keep changing the syllabuses and the way exams are done and it can be really difficult, but you still did it and you got in and I'm proud of you and well done. But there's some things that you should learn to do before you go to uni. People don't say this enough. Um, yeah, people don't say this enough, but going into uni is tons of fun and it's great, but it's like your own version of I'm a celebrity. No, that's too far. Survival show or something? Some survival show. Who even watches TV anymore? It's like a survival show. I mean, you need to learn to survive and if you're like me and I mean, you're not heavily reliant on your family, but you are heavily reliant on the things that they do, then you'll need this video. First thing I would say is learn to cook. Even if it's like a couple of small dishes, no one's asking you to make like creme brulees and lasagnas. Lasagnas not that hard, but still. Creme no one's asking you to make anything that kind of fully loaded. Just learn to make something simple that you could cook for yourself any day with kind of low maintenance skills and not so much in terms of something easy, three ingredients sort of thing. Because at the end of the day you're gonna have to cook for yourself and it's so difficult. And it's good to know. I mean you don't want to end up going into uni and being like, oh, I don't know anything. I don't know how to cook. Because then that's how people die. Two, budget your spending. That's like, it's a really boring thing to do and I don't think if I wasn't, like, if maths wasn't a major thing of my life, I wouldn't have done it. But it helps so much. Like, it helps so much. Especially when you have to do grocery shopping and all of that. It's difficult to know how much you need to spend. So what I did for that was I found out how much my mother typically spends on a grocery shop of a week for a family of five and then I just kind of divided it down and I was like this is my aim this is what I need to fit into and then I also did the thing of minusing my student my student accommodation money from well my rent from my student my maintenance loan and finding out how much I had per week extra to see if the food would be covered and to see if things would be covered adequately because then that's something that you need to think about you can't end up with no money that's the big thing because yes uni life is so sure and it's about going out it's about having fun but you don't want to end up being like freezing with no food before your January loans comes in because that is such a huge amount of time and you don't even realise how long that takes. Like, waiting for that loan takes so long and, you know, being at uni is independent, so ideally you don't want to have to ask your parents for any money, you just want to kind of be like, bye, I'll see you at Christmas. Actually, don't do that, call them, they miss you so much. Um, Number three, research the local area. So this will be when, when you're going to accommodation. When you're moving to accommodation. I think most of these are... Oh wait, this is... The whole video is for accommodation. What am I talking about? But yeah. Um, research the local area that you're going to go live in. Because it can be miles away from where you know and what you know. So it, it helps to kind of have some kind of rudimentary understanding of it. So that you're not just kind of like being dropped in there and be like, oh crap, where's, where's anything, where's anything? I mean, naturally you're going to spend your first few days with your mobile data on all the time, walking around with your phone in your hand, but you kind of want to break down on that and just kind of get yourself knowing it in at least like a cyber sense. It can help to go and see it, but if you at least know it spatially, looking at Google Maps or something and you're like, oh, okay, so this is where the uni is com in comparison to the halls and this is where the nearest cheap supermarket is. This is where the nearest 
I don't know, his Apple Store or something like that. Something relevant to, something that you would be using a lot. Tesco's or something. Um, I don't know why I went to Apple Store first. Um, and then finally, get stuff to keep you entertained. It can be hard, but like, when you first move into a uni hall, there can be differences in timing between other people coming in. I know personally for me, they told me to come like a whole week earlier than anyone else had and then I was just like chilling in my completely silent accommodation and I was like, ah, oh, this is too silent, I'm not making any friends. But yeah, so it can be kind of silent and unnerving, but it's always good to kind of take, keep stuff to keep you entertained, but make sure you don't get too wrapped up in that. So like, take DVDs, um, playing cards is a good thing because then you can kind of play them with other people and that maybe build bronze. Yeah, it could build a lot of friendships and it's interesting. Cards Against Humanity. Those will judge if they have the same sense of humour as you. Um, but yeah, so taking those stuff can be interesting. I would recommend taking things that are more inclusive than exclusive stuff because then you make friends as well as having fun. That's how the world works, guys. Um, yeah, so that's my list for now. I'm sure there's like tons more things. If you think of any more, write them down below or just, you know, do them. Let me know how it goes. Make friends. Don't stay in your room all day. That's what I do. It's not a good thing to do. Okay. So, oh god. So I'll see you later and talk to you later. Bye. I'm never really good at saying goodbye, am I? Hi.